New Hope TV, your encounter with God. Welcome to this program on Good Friday. Good Friday is a very sad day that took place 2000 years ago when Jesus was crucified. The day when he was so brutally, gruesomely murdered, he was whipped till all the flesh in his body was ripped off and then he was crucified on the cross. Good Friday, the day when Jesus died on the cross. Now, that is a death that brought forth life. Yes, the message of Good Friday is a death that brings life. A shame that brings glory. A sorrow that brings life. A pain that brings a pleasure, a joy into one's life. If you'll turn with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, and verse 12 and 11, I'm reading to you. He has poured out his soul unto death, and because of that, by his knowledge, shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their sins. Good Friday, the day of death that leads to the death of day of life. Good Friday, a day of pain, of agony, of shame that leads to joy, to peace, to eternal life and to glory. Beloved, God wants to give us this blessing. Today, as we meditate on the suffering, on the passion, on the death of Jesus, it opens our eyes to know that his death has brought life into us. It's amazing. It's amazing. And that's why it's a good news. And that's why the day when Jesus died, that Friday when Jesus died is called Good Friday. And that's the good news of the cross. He has taken our sins upon himself on the cross. He has taken the punishment of our sins upon the cross. He has taken the shame that comes of our sins upon himself on the cross. He has taken the sickness, the disease that comes into our life because of our sins. He has taken it upon himself on the cross. And therefore, that day 2000 years ago, when Jesus died, that day is a good Friday for you and me today. Yes, beloved. Maybe you are going through a crisis in your life. Maybe you are going through problems in your life. Maybe you are going through a period of shame in your life. Maybe you are suffering with sickness. But the good news is, the good news of Good Friday is that Jesus has taken it all upon himself. And now all that you and I have to do is to come to him and receive the blessing of of Good Friday. If you'll read this beautiful chapter of Isaiah 53, it says that he was despised, he was rejected, he was a man of sorrows, he was totally acquainted with grief, and the price for peace he took upon himself. He has paid the price for peace. There is a price that you need to pay for peace, and he has paid it. And that's the good news of Good Friday. We have to come to him in faith. We have to come to the cross in faith. We have to come to Christ crucified in faith and receive those blessings that he has already purchased for us by his suffering and by his death on the cross. Remember, Good Friday is death that leads to life. 
sorrow that leads to joy, shame that leads to glory. This is the blessing that God wants to give to every one of us. Those who come to him, those who believe in him, those who receive him as their savior and those who believe in that finished work on the cross. When we come to him, we can receive all these blessings, dear people. We in our lives can move on from the land of death into the land of the living. From shame, we can move into glory. From darkness, we move into light when we come to the cross and receive his blessing. The blessing of Christ crucified for us. Yes, he hung there naked so that he can clothe you and me with garments of righteousness. He hung there, he was hanging there totally naked from head to foot so that he can clothe you and me with garments of praise. Garments of priesthood, priestly garments and garments of royalty. He has called you and me to be royalty in Christ Jesus. Yes, we are a holy nation, a peculiar people, a royal priesthood and all that he does for us has done for us because of what he has done for us on the cross. Yes, beloved, today is a day when we can come into his presence in faith and receive the blessings of the finished work that he has done for us on the cross. That death that leads to life. St. Paul also speaks about godly repentance, godly sorrow that leads to joy, that leads to life, that leads to blessing. Yes, when we see Christ hanging on the cross, we see him carrying my sins on the cross. We see him carrying our sins upon the cross. We see him carrying the sins of the whole world upon the cross. He was the Lamb of God that was slain, that was killed for the remission of the sins of the whole world. Now when we come to him, when we look at the cross and when we see him having taken all our sins and believe in that finished work, oh, we can enter into that life, that cross, his crucifixion has purchased for all of us. During this day, when we think about the cross, when we think about his suffering on the cross, yes, the blessing is that he has taken death upon himself and has given life to us. He has taken shame upon himself and has given us glory. He has taken our sickness upon himself and he gives us perfect health and strength to live as witnesses for him. He has taken all our sorrows upon him so that we can have peace in our hearts, in our lives. He has taken all the shame, he has taken all the blame and thereby he imputes his righteousness upon us. Isn't that wonderful? Cross is the finished work of the blessings that he wants to give to us. Cross is the place where Jesus took death upon himself and has given life to us. Beloved, this is, is an awesome thought. This is an awesome revelation that we need to understand, that we need to believe, that we need in faith to receive and when we do so, we begin to walk in the path of life that he has set before us. Isn't that amazing? His death has brought life into us. His suffering has brought deliverance into our lives. And that day when he died, the veil that separated the holy place and the most holy place was rent into two. So that I, a common man, you and I, people who are Gentiles, can walk into the most holy of holies and be received by God Almighty. Yes, dear beloved, cross is the bridge 
that has bridged the gap between man and God and has given us access to him, to the most high, to the most holy. Isn't that wonderful? Good Friday, the day of death that leads to life for all of humanity. The day of suffering that brings peace and deliverance to all humanity. The day of death where Jesus took all our sins upon himself. And that's why in faith, psalmist is able to say, he forgives all your sins. He heals all your diseases. And he fills your cup with goodness, grace and mercy. Shall we receive this blessing? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day when we remember your suffering upon the cross 2000 years ago. You were brutally beaten up and all the flesh in your body was ripped off till the bones were exposed. And Father, you, you, were, you were hanging there on the cross, totally naked, taking all the sin, all the shame, all the blame, all the sickness, all the curses, all slavery, all bondage, you have taken yourself upon the cross. So I thank you, I praise you. Even now, Lord, I pray for the viewers. Let your blessing come upon them. Let the power of deliverance come upon them, Lord. Let them be healed in Jesus' name. Because of your wounds, we have already been healed. Yes, Lord, because of your blood, we are washed. So we thank you, we praise you. When we come to him, confessing our sins, acknowledging our guilt, and when we receive the washing away of our sins, the remission of your sins by your shed blood, Oh, we can enter into the joy of salvation. So we thank you, we praise you. So the blessing of the Good Friday, the blessing of the cross, the blessing of your suffering, your death, your shed blood and your broken body be upon all of us. So bless us and be the glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. The greatest sacrifice, Jesus Christ. The Prince of Peace, the Father of Compassion, the Redeemer of Mankind, brings new hope into your life. New Hope TV, your encounter with God.